parts and move around. Yeah. Now, um, okay. yeah, I understand. Now, also, I was I was talking to Dita. I had a Zoom meeting with Dita the other day, and he was yeah. trying to remember that that time that you were in his cell. That time, How, what year was that? Um, that would have been. That's when I when I realised who he was. Um, it was after I had a leg infection. Yeah. So you know, I reckon it was around about 20, 2016, 2017. Okay. Because um, I came back from hospital and I was put in his. Yeah, they. I had a. I might. Yeah. It's either that or when I came out of G division. Um, yeah, I was put in. Um, a single, um, no, a cell with him. Yeah. And I did, he was just on the bottom bunk reading all the time. Yeah. It was only when he started talking about canoes and stuff like that, the realisation of who he was. Yeah. Yeah, you know about the canoes, yes. Yeah. Well, he was saying he used, to, he used to run the canoe place and he was talking all about that. And I'm thinking... Wait a minute. You know, I asked a few Yeah. yeah. yeah I, went, I, I, went, I went fishing and... Um, but um, I know that he was made to, like, yeah, my brother was selling me, my sister, to them for for free canoes. Yeah, so that's right. Huge yeah. canoes yeah. With, his, with his friends. Did you explain? Back in the yeah, that's right, before Louise, yeah. yeah. Did you explain to him about Louise? Because he's saying that you were trying to tell him, he said that you said something about Louise to him. No, I said to his lawyers. Oh, it was his lawyers. Yeah, I went to his lawyers when he was first charged. And what did you tell the lawyers? I said that he was innocent. He had nothing to do with Louise. Yeah. And, and what did they say? Um, I don't know. I gave, I gave the account of what I remembered happened. Yeah, and this was around the same time. I I spoke to Mossen about it because I remember we prayed about it. As I said, I'm com I feel compelled because I know this yeah. is going to bring more shit on me, but I feel compelled. I have to tell the truth. And um, correct, yes. I said I told. I even told them to ask her sister. Yes, what happened that night? Because she she was she 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 was awake when I was there. At the window. And Louise told her, yeah, she said, if um, mum and dad come in and see I'm gone, don't tell them where I've gone. Correct, yeah. And But they, they also mentioned that the window was, the fly screen was pushed out from inside the house. It was pushed out from inside. I, said, I just put my knife in the corner to try and get that grey, yeah, you know, the little grey st stopper in. Yeah, because I what I was because when we realised we couldn't get the screen off, yeah. I said, "Don't worry about it," and she she started crying. Yeah, and um, Louise and did, was, and she, yeah, yeah, and so because I said I was going to go, I was going back to the country that day. Yeah, the next um, day. The, well, that that yeah, that's why she wanted to come out. Um, she had been talking with my sister that I met my girlfriend at night all the time in the yeah. back of their back paddock, paddock of the house. And so, um, yeah, so then I said, well, I don't want to get you in trouble, so we'll make it look like it came undone by itself by just pulling out that grey bit yeah. and then just say it came undone. Well, because I didn't have access to the back, I had to try and just push it out from the front yeah. and get the knife in. And so we were going to make a little hole. Yeah. But as I was doing it, she had already got on the windowsill and she pushed with her knee yeah. against the screen and yeah. it just went <laughs> yeah. Yeah. really quick before I knew she had her head around, um, leg around my head. Oh, my God. Because I was about shoulder height to the window, yeah. you know, just under, probably about level with my ear at the time. Yeah. How many times did Louise's father come in to tell him off with giggling or whatever? <laughs> At least twice, because the second time I was going to run away. Oh, you only only wish you had to run away. You would, the situation wouldn't be where it is now. Yeah, yeah. Did you, um, did I thought he was going to. I thought I thought he was going to realise that they were talking to someone outside, 
and um, she and then I said, I'm going to go, and she goes, no, 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 and then I waited, and we were quiet for a while, and then, yeah, because it seemed like forever, because she wasn't going to go until her parents went to bed. Yeah, did, did, was Louise's sister still awake when the screen got pushed open? Um, I can't remember. I would say probably she would have if she just started to doze off. She probably would have still woke up. What time? Because, what time do you reckon it was on that night? Oh, no, I didn't have a watch. I just no. remembered it was dark and. Um, their mum, their, their parents must have been in the lounge room because the light was coming in under their bedroom door. Yeah. And she kept looking over over towards the door. Yeah. And then she, she goes, oh, they'll go to bed soon. So we were telling jokes and telling stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and her sister was awake a long time during that. Yeah, so her sister can vouch that Louise was talking to a young boy at the window yeah. of that night. Yeah. And then we've got my life. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I understand. I, you know, I know your sister was. You know, I know Stan. And Louise was this side. Yeah. Well, you know, Stan told me what what went on with your father about Louise. So this is why it's sad that that they've they've set set a guy up that shouldn't be in jail. The um, and that, I think what link, linked him to that. Um, being set up for that is the fact what happened in the 70s regarding what happened between me and my sister and him and his friend and my brother when dad and his police bashed him and his mate up yeah and so they had their the details and all that yeah and then um they even took her clothes apparently because remember I said the police came and got the clothes, yeah, and they dumped them in the in the water near where them in the area of the uh, um, Purunga. So these cl- these pajamas would have had salt salt saturated through the clothes. Well, I was told that um, the clothes were actually found in the Purunga wetlands. Oh yeah, I don't know if that was I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. That's only just what I was told. But that's what because I, I only heard what Dad and the police were kind of like saying that they came back laughing a couple of weeks after they took the place. Yeah, and they were laughing with Dad drinking because when you're a kid you sort of listen because the reason I was curious is because my brother had shown me the place you see to try and how 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 long after when your father took Louise did you see the clothes I'm less than a week I mean, the week the week um, after we came back and that was at Yatna no that was at Oruru oh Oruru yeah and uh, my brother my parents were out me and my brother were home, and I can't remember if my sisters were home or not. But they, my brother, took me into my, my parents' walk-in wardrobe. Yep. And that on right up, right up the top, he got a white shopping bag down. Yeah. And in, and inside was her pajamas and I think her earrings. And yeah, maybe something else. I remember there was some kind of jewelry in there, and um, definitely earrings. I think they might have been sleepers. Yeah, and um, but she had this matching set of um, like a summer pajama top and sort of like short things. Yeah. Do, do you do you, when your when your father when you got when you were talking to Louise outside out on the road were you in her street or another street when your father found you you and Louise together? No, 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 no. We we. Well, see, I didn't know the area, so I followed Louise. Louise said she knew where to where to go. Yeah. And all I know, it was up towards Beach Road. Yeah. Because that's the road my dad walked down from. Yeah. So it was it was within a block of Beach Road. Yeah. But maybe a block and a half down. Yeah. So between a block and because we were at a street light that was on our side. We were playing underneath a street light that was yeah. on the side of the road, but the road we were on yeah. was ploughed, ploughed paddock one side yeah. and houses and streets the other. Yeah. And um, 
and because we were actually hiding in the plough paddock yep. every time cars, cars went past. Yeah, you were saying. Because we could, we, could, we could see when the car's lights turned where they were going to go. Mm. So, and then all of a sudden, Dad walked down from the dark. And then punched you in the face. Yeah, he said it, the exact word was, what the fuck are you doing with my birthday present? Yeah. So how far would you have been from where the tennis courts when you first met Louise? I don't know. I was just following Louise. Yeah. I know it was like a, at least a three or four block walk. Mm. So, so Louise Bell's sister. And, 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 and we were heading sort of northwest. Okay, so Louise Bell had seen you and your and your family days prior at the tennis courts playing tennis. So she'd been playing at least for a week with my sister. Yeah. I mean, at least a week. I can't remember if we had the tennis courts booked out for a week or two weeks. Yeah. But we were playing there every day. Yeah. For yeah, at least at least one week, and that would. And my aunt, that was booked under my auntie's name, I think. It was either Aunty Carolyn. Yeah. Um, I mean, Aunt, Aunty... Barbara. Um, Barbara or Aunty Paula. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I might have even been my grandparents. But, um, yeah, Dad had them to book it because, yeah, they, were, they lived local. And, um, yeah, they had my aunties and their boyfriends and all that yeah. playing. Doubles and all that. We had the, all the courts booked out. Okay, so here's week. here's you and your family at the tennis courts around the corner from Louise Bell. Yes. Yeah. And then Louise, Louise's, Louise's sister and Louise met your sisters. No, yeah. I, I never met the sister till the night. Oh, you didn't meet till the night that night. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, um, my sister was hanging out with Louise. Okay. She called me up. I think, I think it was the second day she was hanging out with her. She called me up to the corner and she goes, oh, Mark, no, they must have been talking about boyfriends and all that. She goes, oh, Mark knows how to give good shivers and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's when you started talking to her. Well, my sister wanted, she wanted to know what, it, she was curious about what it was all about. Louise was. So that's how. Yeah, so my sister kind of like set us up to experiment, I guess. Yeah. And um, teach Louise how to do stuff. Yeah. Stuff. So, so you've actually got a pretty real good bond at that time for Louise to want to try to climb out the window in the middle of the night to come out and we'll see you. Yeah, I think I might have been her first crush, I don't know. How old was you then? Um, 12, I've been in like 12. Yeah. So you were 12 years old. So how, yeah. The, uh, did your did your father say anything when he got back home that night after Louise, he took Louise from you? No, I was we just waking up and put in the car and driven to our route. So he never said anything to you about we, we, Louise? We left about five, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, yeah, it, um, he had to go to work. So we used to leave really early in the morning and then he'd drop us off home and then he'd get ready to go to work. So he never – it was only your your brother that told you that that your dad had the um, Louise's clothes. Yeah, it's a bit like what happened with Joanne. They used to just pretend it never happened. Yeah, correct. You never you, – you when things happened, you never spoke to my dad about it. He'll kill you. Try and he'd wake up with a knife at the throat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But the but you so you believe your father took Louise after he took it took Louise from you. You believe your father took it to Auntie Barbara's at Charles Street. No, oh, well, I was told that he took her to what we called the ghost house. Yeah, and she was thrown thrown in the basement. How far is that from Louise? How far is that from Louise? <coughs> Louise's house. Um, do, do you know where Hackham Oval is? Hackham Oval, yeah. Oh no, well, I know where Hackham yes. is. I know where. Yeah, Hack, Hackham Oval. We, my auntie had a horse at what we called the ghost house, and it was like apparently haunted. Yeah. So much so that um, kids weren't allowed in the house by themselves. Yeah. And. And um, 
there was a family that lived there. There was a shootout there between the police and the father. <coughs> my, yeah. My dad did to their daughter and she ended up opening her mouth and she was too scared to mention my dad, so she blamed it on her dad. Yeah. And when when she was forced to tell, because obviously she told someone and then realised that they made her go to talk to people she didn't want to when she, uh, <laughs> yeah, she had to yeah. blame someone. And um, that was apparently all over the news because Marcel Spiro told me, because I remember that incident, that house was on the news for yeah, the shootout. Yeah, yeah, because me, me, me and my sisters were sent into the shootout to try and stop it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that house is, if you look at Hackham Oval at the end of Beach Road, State Road corner, if you go north up State Road just a little bit, there's a little bridge. Yeah. And then... There's a, about 200 metres up, there's a road that went <laughs> east and about a kilometre or a kilometre half up that road, yeah. south of it, what was the farmhouse. But I've been told that's been knocked down and there's okay. been new properties built over the top okay. of it. I, I've got to go, and it's going to click off. Oh, okay. Then, but, All right. Yeah. Well, that's good. To, that's good to understand. So you're saying, okay, I'll... I'll I'll call me call me on Sunday. See ya. See ya, mate.